the lasers are aligned, the shroud is tight on the torch. A viewer of my uh, video about my joystick pendant made out of an arcade uh, controller joystick uh, saw this laser holder, uh, rubber holder shroud for the hypertherm uh, plasma torch and it has, this is for a machine torch and uh, asked me about it in the comments and uh, I was going to make a video about it, but this had some significant design flaws and convenience issues. And uh, they had to do with um, designing something for the ease of 3D printing as a single piece and then not having a very usable item. Uh, so I decided to improve it before I made a video about it. And uh, I came up with this. This will actually be version uh, 3 point something because this is not my... Uh, first attempt at a torch shield. So this is my latest version of the torch shield. This is the CAD model of the main body of the torch shield. Uh, there are three bores. This 34 point four millimeter bore uh, clamps onto the hypertherm torch and these two uh, onto the uh, 12 millimeter lasers that are available on Amazon that paint a line along the y-axis and the x-axis which is why the two lasers are arranged in this configuration. This cutout here is for the y-axis carriage on the Langumir machine and to this main body, uh, we attach a rubber holder ring underneath uh, that holds the rubber and an outer ring uh, holds the rubber to the uh, inner ring like a washer and there is that approximately one millimeter space. Um, and that's all there is to it. Uh, the ring that holds the rubber is attached from the top with screws so the rubber with this ring can be removed from the upper piece from the main body uh, from the top without uh, removing it from the torch uh, if um, necessary. I also 3D print a little washer it's a washer with a 9 millimeter hole that's 1.4 millimeter thick and that's to stabilize the focus ring on the laser. I will talk about this a little later. Uh, this is the very expensive high temperature silicone rubber hydrometer and a uh, two by two foot piece that I bought from Mac Master Car. Um, it's, it's a nice product and the large size is advantageous in that I'll have a single piece. Uh, they, there is a seller that sells 130 seconds uh, inch thickness rubber on Amazon in the United States, uh, but his sheets are too small so you have to cobble together multiple pieces. In fact, this rubber on my old device is, uh, is from that vendor. Um, since I bought this sheet, I found that um, inner tubes from um, garden tractor type equipment, this was a 10 inch European BCS tractor uh, inner tube. Uh, and in fact, this 10 by five uh, inner tube is an almost perfect size for this. You can almost just cut rings off of it and uh, probably if I if I had already ruined this tube on my BCS tractor um, and already had it out of there, 
uh, when I uh, designed this ring, uh, I would not have spent a lot of money on this uh, high temperature sheet. lasers have a focus ring right here which uh, actually turns the direction of the beam but also focuses it and the way you know they're sold for general use and um, they may be focused across a room or they may be focused from uh, two inches away like like I do here and when we use them close up like this um, you have to unscrew the ring quite far and it's um, it's wobbly the lens becomes wobbly and it turns easily so it's not fixed in place and it, uh, it's at risk of falling off it's hard to uh, keep it aligned and so uh, to solve this problem I make these spacers essentially washers with the outside diameter of 12 uh, millimeters like the laser and the inside diameter of 9 which is the diameter of that barrel in there. It's a metric, um, obviously, uh, contraption. So uh, I have found that at these distances like this, uh, this washer spacer has to be um, 1.4 millimeters. And it's easier to 3D print it than to uh, turn it on a lathe, uh, because on a lathe uh, you'll have uh, more waste than material going into something like this. The lasers are aligned. The shroud is tight on the torch. The lasers are tight. I have to put back the uh, the clamp which interferes with my decorative laser covers which uh, of course this plastic piece for covering the tops of the lasers is completely optional but I like it. And then neaten up the wiring real quick. We are uh, preparing to make the first cut with the new torch shield and uh, laser holder. As you can see, the lasers are on and uh, they're helping me find the corner, the work zero corner. This piece of scrap is very regularly shaped, but I'll be making good use of that narrow skinny end because I need to cut out a skinny part. I will turn off the lights here so that the laser is more visible, perhaps. The camera is some distance, but there are the two laser beams helping me find X and Y axis and helping me locate the word zero correctly. I've uh, jogging, I'm jogging the machine with my pendant, uh, which is made out of an arcade, uh, arcade game controller. And uh, I have a video up about it. Um, so we're gonna set that as uh, word zero and uh, make our first cut with the new lipstick red uh, torch shield with the new reddish rubber. Very exciting. Let's make this cut. Uh, 
I'm getting ready for my uh, third ever cut. Uh, maybe I should stop saying ever. Getting ready for my third cut with the new lipstick red. Um, torch shield with laser holders and uh, red rubber. Um, the previous couple, uh, it was too high. I had too many sparks flying out. I would like to minimize the sparks. I'm in a small uh, garage here. So I've been uh, progressively lowered, lowering it and at this point I've lowered by about four millimeters. Um, it's interesting that this is my third design of this piece and it seems that uh, the way the rubber is hung and the thickness of the rubber all affect how low it should rub. Uh, I guess that makes sense. This is the stiffest 70 durometer rubber uh, that I'm using here and uh, it seems like I have to press it lower than some of the softer rubbers I've used before. I have a video about this pendant, by the way, on my, on my channel. Yeah, my Y-axis was a little crooked. This will be a little better. So my work zero will be in that corner. Um, this is a quarter inch mild steel. We can, I think, start the cut now.
I have to say, I am pleased at times I saw hardly any sparks. I don't have water splashing anywhere. Uh, this is, of course, to be used at a small garage where sparks and water everywhere are an issue. In a large industrial shop where you have 20 feet on each side of your machine, you wouldn't need this. But I think this is about the right height for this uh, 70 durometer rubber. I'll turn off the laser. Um, and this is probably the best version of this flash guard that I've made so far.